Sa pag-compute naman ng air-to-fuel ratio, um, pwede kasi natin gawin dito is mag-balance tayo ng uh, equation, ng mga chemical formula. Kaya lang, uh, medyo mag-consume yun ng time, so pwede natin gamitin na lang itong formula to. So, air-to-fuel ratio is equal to 3N plus 1 times 8 over 7N plus 1 times 0.2315. Okay. So, kailangan lang, na, kailangan lang natin hanapin is yung N. Ano ba yung N? N is the number of carbon atoms. So, Itong mga chemical formula na to is dapat din natin matandaan. So, katulad ng methane. So, given naman yung chemical formula. And, ang chemical formula ng mga alkanes ay CnH2n plus 2. So, hanapin natin. So, ano ba yung sa methane? So, CH4. So, kaya ibig sabihin, ang number of carbon atoms nito is 1. So, compute natin. I-substitute lang natin yung 1. So, 3 times 1 plus 1 times 8 all over 7 times 1 plus 1 times 0 0.2315. So, makuha natin air to fuel ratio is 17.2786177. 1 is to 1. So, itong problem na to is ganun din. Kailangan din mahanap yung air-to-fuel ratio. So, ang air-to-fuel ratio niya is equal to 3 times ano yung N natin. So, sa problem, C16H34. So, ito yung cetane. So, chemical formula ng cetane or diesel. So, kasama ng C ng carbon atom is, sabi, 16 carbon atom. So, and by 16 plus 1 times 8 all over 7 times 16 plus 1 times 0.2315. So, kailangan mo na natin itong i-multiply o bago tayo mag plus 1. So, multiply plus 1. So, multiply plus 1. Then, saka natin ito yung multiply So, makuha natin na air to fuel ratio ay 14.9849958921 is to 1. Sa pagsusod naman ng problem na to, so hanapin natin daw yung air to fuel ratio ng kerosene given the number of hydrogen atoms na 26. So ang given is number of hydrogen atoms at hindi carbon atom. So, tandaan natin yung general formula ng alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. So, ito daw na part na to, so 26 daw. Kaya, pwede natin makuha yung n. So, 2n plus 2 is equal to 26. So, pag kinuha natin yung n, ang makukuha natin value dyan is 12. Ibig sabihin, Ang chemical formula nito is C12H26. So, ito na yung hinahanap natin. Kaya, pwede na natin kunin yung air to fuel ratio niya. So, 3 times 12 plus 1 times 8 over 7 times 12 plus 1 times 0 0.2315. So, makuha natin air to fuel ratio pag sinod natin to ay 15.04256132 is to 1. Okay. So, itong problem na to is pinapahanap yung air to fuel ratio ng gasoline with 50% excess air. So, wala tayong masyadong given dito na uh, values. Pero given naman na gasoline yung fuel. So, dapat alam natin kung ano yung chemical formula ng gasoline. So, ang chemical formula ng gasoline is C8H6. 
低频。Oh, kasi sa sinabi natin gasolin octane rating so octane eight. So kapag ka naman diesel setting rating setting. So paano natin to deal so with 50% excess air daw. Ah uh, kapag ka tayo nag balancing equation. So medyo matrabaho to kasi lalagyan natin yun ng 50% excess air. So pwede natin tong isolve pa din gamit yung formula. So una is yung air to fuel ratio niya. Kunin pa rin natin. So, 3 times 8 plus 1 times 8 over 7 times 8 plus 1 times 0.2315. Okay. So, may makuha na tayong air to fuel ratio dito na 15.156682. So, ito yung air per unit of fuel. Pero, meron tayong 50% na excess na air. So, air to fuel ratio at 50% uh, excess air. Equal siya sa ito. Times 1.5. Kasi 50% yung excess niya. So, 1.5. Kaya makuha natin na AF at 50 at 50% uh, excess air is 22.73502333 is to 1.